It's Friday again, and that means another Sudoku Primer video. We're going to talk about complementary thinking today. If you like these videos and feel they've helped you, please consider buying me a coffee. There's a link in the description below this video. There are also links to buy me a coffee on the sudokuprimer.com website. I've had several people buy me coffees, and I thank you and appreciate your support if you have. On this channel, we solve Sudoku puzzles without candidates. Learn more about how to do this on sudokuprimer.com. There's a lot more Sudoku stuff out there, too. If you have any questions as we solve this, please leave a comment. This puzzle is a subscriber request. Francis asked me to look at this puzzle, and I just decided to do a, a video on it because it's a good one. To start out, we've got a right angle pattern here, and with the right angle pattern, we can look at this column and this row and see if we have the same number in both the column and the row that isn't already in this box. In this case, we have a 2 here and a 2 here, so that's a 2. All right. I know this is a 2 also, because we've got 2 here, 2 here, so one of these is a 2. But there's a 5, 7 in these two boxes already, so these are 5, 7 twins, so that cannot be a 2. So that makes that a 2 right there. All right, and then we got three, 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 and I think that's all our threes. All right, now we've got a two, 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 so that's a two. Two. Two there. Two. Two there. And that's all our twos. Let's look at row 6 here. We're missing 4, 7, 9. We've got a 7 in this box already, so these are 4 and 9. With that 4, we can fill them in. And that makes that a 7. We could see that's a 7 here because of that 7. 7, and there's a wall here, so 7, 7. All right. Now, I know this is an 8 right here, and I'll show you why. First of all, let's look at this row right here. We're missing five numbers. That's a lot of numbers, but let's look at it. And this is where we use complementary thinking. Let's see what we're missing. 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. And as I was looking at this row, I noticed there's a 7 and a 9 there. So that's a 4, 6, or 8. There's a 7 and a 9 there. That's a 6 or 8. And there's a 7 and a 9 there. So that's a 4 or an 8. And with these 7 9s here, 7, 9, 7, 9, and 7, 9, the only place we can have a seven or a seven and nine is one of these two right here. Because that can't be seven or nine, that can't be seven or nine, that can't be a seven or nine. So that's how we use complementary thinking. We think kind of the opposite to see that these four are four, six, and eight, and these are seven, nine twins. Now with these seven, nine twins and that eight, we know that is an eight. Right. 
And now we know these are seven nine twins, so these are four six twins. And let's see what we're missing here. One, five, six, seven, nine. One, five, seven, and nine. Here's a one, five, and seven, so that's a nine. That's a five or seven, one, five, seven, one, five, seven. So we can't solve those, but we found a nine there. All right, and now let's look at row four, since we put that nine in there. One, six, eight. One, six, and eight are still missing here. That's a one or an eight. There's a one and a six, so that's an eight right there. That leaves one and six. There's a six there, so one and six. And so that's how we... So we finish that row there. We're only missing an eight there. Fill that in. All right. We're missing a one and a six in this column. We can put those in with that one there. All right, now we've got a seven here, seven here, so that's a seven. And with this seven here, we had our five, seven twins there, which we can solve now because of that seven there. All right. And we know these are four eight twins, so that's got to be a nine right there. And we've known for a while these are one six twins, even though I didn't mention them. Even before I filled these five sevens in, we had these, or five and seven in, we had these five seven twins, so these were one six twins right there. All right. Let's look at column eight. We're missing five, nine. That five, we can fill them in. All right. Now we're only missing one and four here. There are ghost ones here, so we can fill those in. All right, and we've got ghost eights here and an eight here. So one of these is an eight. With that, we can put an eight in there. And we can fill this one in. That's a, a four right there. All right, and with this eight, we can fill in the four and eight that we have left there to complete box seven. All right, now we have six and nine. Five, six, nine. That nine, we can fill those in. All right, now remember our one, five, sevens here. We've got a five and a seven there, so we can put in a one right there. And with that one, we can solve our six one twins or one six twins that we knew about in box one. Now we're only missing eight and nine here. So now we're missing one and five there. That one, we can solve those. Remember our four, six, and seven, nine twins here. We can finish those. All right, now we're only missing six, eight here, six and eight there. We can fill those in. And now we've got a uh, 
5, 6, and 7 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 5 and 6, that's a 7. 5, 6, and we're missing 4, 5, 7 there. And we've got it. Well, this one wasn't too difficult. Um, a relatively easy puzzle using a lot of the techniques that we use to solve without using candidates. Um, once you get real familiar with these uh, techniques and patterns that I talk about on sudokuprimer.com, you'll be able to make these harder puzzles pretty easy. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next week.